Mayor de Blasio says New York City hospitals have enough masks, face shields, and also gloves to make it through Sunday, but surgical gowns are in short supply. So the garment district is now bringing back furloughed workers to help. CBS 2's Ali Bauman has this. For 30 years, Ferrara Manufacturing has been making high-end clothing from the heart of Manhattan's garment district. Past clients have included Donna Karen, Calvin Klein, Ralph Lauren. But now the 39th Street factory is switching gears, changing its whole supply chain to make surgical gowns. There's been a growing problem, and this problem we have not found a solution to yet. That is the surgical gowns, and these are crucial because they protect our health care workers. Monday, Mayor de Blasio said the White House has helped secure fabric to produce 400,000 gowns locally over the next month. This process has kind of felt like, like a really even crazier runway show because um, the materials were so hard to get. Ferraris is one of at least eight local manufacturers working with the city to make up to 220,000 gowns per week citywide. And that ranges everywhere from Broadway costume producers uh, to seamstresses. James Patchett is head of the city's Economic Development Corporation and says the effort has already brought back at least 1,000 jobs. All of these manufacturers had laid off their workforce and were looking at you know, weeks, if not months, of uncertainty and and furloughs. Manufacturers say being able to make this protective gear for healthcare workers is also turning out to be a lifeline for the garment district itself. We're able to really support almost our full staff with this new shift. We're also working with other factories in the area, so it's not just our factory that we're supporting. We're really supporting a, a huge network of factories in the garment district, and it's pretty amazing to you know, be able to activate an industry that really has this anchor point in New York City. Protecting essential workers and putting people back to work. Ali Bauman, CBS 2 News.